Hey, good evening everybody. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy at work. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker baked beans. Now these are not technically baked beans. Baked beans are done in an oven, which you can do if you want. Uh, I prefer to use the slow cooker because it doesn't heat up the kitchen so much and it takes less power. Now, the first step, and you only see a bag of white navy beans on the counter tonight because it's a two-step process. Tonight you soak them and I'll bring out the rest of the ingredients tomorrow morning. I used to pick through these dry by hand when I first started making beans and I've abandoned that practice for a couple of reasons. A lot of the dark marks on these at the beginning are just dirt and you end up throwing out way more beans than you should. I also find it's a lot easier to pick out the really bad ones after they've soaked all night. But you definitely should do that before you put them in the cooker however way you want to do it to make sure that you get out the nasty ones and also to make sure that there are no small pebbles mixed in with the beans. Just put your bowl in the sink and get some cold water and you can do an initial rinse on these first. You can see how dirty the water is right off the get though. So I'm just going to pour off that bit. I don't do this through a strainer. If you're careful about it, you won't lose any beans. I rinse them a couple more times and then I'm just going to fill it right up with cold water and let these soak overnight because these will absorb quite an amount of water. I have those nice and rinsed and I'll just shake it so you can see the water level. It's about up to here and the beans are down in the bottom. I'm just going to let that sit uncovered overnight and come back to it tomorrow. Good morning, I'm back. It's the next day and you can see that it's absorbed a lot of water. Now I am going to zoom in and I don't know how much good that's going to do because I don't think you can, you might be able to see some of the little bubbles on the top, probably not. That is some of the gas that you're not going to be getting. So first thing to do is strain these things. I got my strainer ready to go. Just pour it all through a strainer into the sink. And you'll see the beans are frothed up quite a bit. First, I'm going to give them a good rinse. And the next thing is to go through them. I'm getting a little glass here that I'm going to put the bad beans in and just toss those in the garbage after. This is the only truly tedious process of this. Because what you want to do, I get a strainer and I just visually inspect them in small batches. until I find a bad one and take it out. Okay, I finally found one. Now, how, high, how many beans you take out depends how high your standards are. This one is discolored in an odd spot, so I really don't want that in the recipe. And I think we might have another one here. Yep, so that one's going to come out. Beans that have just cleanly split in half are fine. Um, if you see like a little bit of rusting where the bean stem would be, eh, that's up to you. But the ones that are discolored right in the middle, yeah, you're going to have enough beans that you don't have to worry about putting those in. And I did find another one. And this is the kind of bean you are actually looking for. You can see right away that one is just wrong. Okay. It looks like it's rotting or something or whatever, but you don't want that in your dinner. Take that out. Those are all picked through now, and this is all that I'm going to end up throwing out, which is not too bad. For this, I use my large pot that I got filling up with water. And I'll just add the beans to that. So I have enough water in, it's about two-thirds of the way up the pot, or about four or five inches from the top, because um, when these start to cook and boil, it can froth up a fair amount. 
so you want to leave some room so it doesn't boil over so I'm going to bring these to a boil skim them for a bit and then turn them down and simmer them probably for around an hour and the best way to check is that the skins start to break while those are coming to a boil I can get some of my condiments ready now I use black pepper fancy molasses I'm not sure if I've got a cup in here if not I'll just top it up with some black strap I've got some organic hot mustard powder some garlic and a big yellow onion Now, you might be noticing salt is missing from here. Salt is not actually required in this dish. Uh, it tastes so good by itself that you don't need it, which is, makes it ideal for people on reduced sodium diets. Now, if you do feel you need to, I would just honestly taste it at the table and add it to taste as opposed to putting it right in the recipe. Because like any other recipe, salt you put in is <laughs> pretty much impossible to get out. So I'm chopping up four cloves of garlic again this is to taste I like a lot you might want one or two you might want six now I'm doing a fairly rough chop on this you don't have to go super fine because you gotta remember these are going to be cooking for hours in the slow cooker and all the flavor will dissipate and these will get pretty mushy so it's fine Okay, so I got all these sliced up this way, and just a rough chop is good with this as well. If you've got a few large pieces, it adds texture and character to the dish. The hot mustard powder is very much to taste. I go one or two tablespoons. So to split the difference, I just get a large cereal spoon and put in about that much which is about one and a half I'm guessing maybe two so let's see if I've got enough here yes I do and if you're wondering how much one of these things holds even though it says 675 grams on the front well if you look at it it's like a little milk container which holds two cups and I this is my second batch and there you go so after that's all chopped up and prepared time to check on the beans which are coming to a boil and you so definitely want to be around for this part because this can boil over on you pretty quick what I'm going to do is just use my strainer and get that original bowl I had and just toss that this can go down the sink so when you see them start to come to a boil what you're going to want to do is stir them up like that to try to get as much froth as you can to the top and skim that off and after a few times when you notice that there is not that much coming to the surface which I will pretty much just do right now turn the heat down low should do it leave this uncovered by the way do not cover this or it will boil over on you really badly okay let that simmer for probably about an hour 45 minutes or an hour check it every 15 minutes or so see how it's doing well it's been 15 minutes and it's settled down a little too much I turn the heat right back up to high to get it to come to a boil like that and then I'm gonna carefully nudge it down just until it's boiling but you can see it's not gonna boil up or over um, one thing to remember with this as you boil them the beans are a going to absorb water and the water itself is going to get thicker and darker as you can see uh, which means it has to reach a higher temperature to come to a boil which is another reason you may have to nudge up the heat during this cooking process checking in on them again yeah 
Okay, yeah, we're pretty much there. I'll zoom a little so you can see what I'm talking about. Now there's multiples here, so basically just look over the stack we got. There's a star right in the middle. So when the beans start to crack like that, that means that they're cooked enough inside that you can put them in the slow cooker. If you don't cook them enough at this stage, what's going to happen is that even though they look really nice in the slow cooker, and this applies to whether you do them in the oven as well, you're going to get crunchy beans, which nobody wants. So, turn the heat off. I know there's going to be some people for whom beans are a way of life, or whose intestinal systems are fully inured to the effects of high fiber, but for your average Joe, I dump it. And I can hear people going, no, no, the bean water. Well, all that lovely flavor. All I gotta say is, bye bye guys, bye bye, bye bye. Because honestly, the condiments add enough flavor that for whatever you're gonna lose by dumping the cooking water and rinsing them is more than offset by the GI symptoms you're not gonna have later. My countertop where I'm actually gonna put the slow cooker is pretty crowded. Uh, so instead of making a mess over there, I'm gonna mix it all up here. Uh, I do not advise taking the strainer and trying to pour it in like that. You're gonna have beans all over the counter. Just take the extra few minutes to grab this. Now, at this point, you can also visually inspect them and see if there's any gross bits that you missed on the first pass. And pull those out. Once cooked, these can be frozen, eh? Now when you get to the end, yeah, just toss them in. This makes actually a lot of beans and a two pound bag of white navy beans does not cost very much, a few dollars. And the rest of the ingredients cost hardly anything. So once that's in, I'm gonna just mix all this up. So don't worry about layering it. You can if you want, it looks very pretty. Uh, but the flavors are gonna mix anyways. So I just kinda dump everything in first. And I will sprinkle the mustard a little bit and take the molasses, which you may have noticed I put on a plate, so in case it gets a bit sloppy. You know, go everywhere. Just got a quick spatula to get out the rest. Nice dousing of fresh black pepper ground. And those had actually boiled for about an hour, I forgot to mention that. So get a big cup of water and then stir that up. Just get enough water to basically cover them. Let it settle down. You can test it with the strainer to see how deep the water is. Because you don't really want soup. What you want is you want the water that's in here to boil down and get into the beans, okay? Set it on high, put the lid on, and come back in two hours. Is that the two hour mark? You see a bit of steam on the lid? So let me get in there. And I'll zoom a bit so you can see. The onions are starting to take on a brown color, which is good. The beans a little bit, not quite so much. Definitely going to keep this on high and pop back in in an hour or so just to look at it. So we're at the about three hour mark here and as you can see stuff is finally starting to happen. It's bubbling away 
the onions have gone quite limp and are starting to absorb the color as are the beans so everything is just going great here and you might notice that I'll just actually zoom in really close so you can see the fluid level is starting to drop okay I'm not concerned right now there's quite a lot left in there uh, four hours now let's take a look yeah you can see the uh, fluid level has dropped a bit now it's not quite thickened up yet but it is coming along it's starting to smell really good it's about five hours now and it's looking like one more hour should do it just right it's the six hour mark now let's see what we've got yeah so even though those still look kind of runny you've got to remember that these are boiling hot all right and that liquid is full of starch right now from the beans so as soon as you put these in the bowl they will set up pretty quick um, you can either keep these in the fridge or you can let them cool down. I like to put them in Ziplocs and freeze portions of these. They reheat really nicely in the microwave. I actually prefer doing that instead of the oven. They tend to dry out in the oven unless you're going to cover them quite well. So what I'll do is I'll put some of these in a bowl now and let them cool down on the counter a bit so you can see how they thicken up. I have these cooling off in a bowl on the counter for I'd say probably about 10 minutes or so so you can see that they have gone from very very soupy to just a nice texture with a bit of sauce and let me just have a taste I know how good these are but I've been waiting mm. nice and tender not crunchy really full of flavor I do hope you try these. This is how I make slow cooker baked beans. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.